What's going on guys? I am John from Mr. Windy Productions and today I'll be talking about something unexpected. Now this item I'm going to be talking about was supposed to be released in uh, I believe mid to late September but Hasbro decided to release it early and that is none other than the Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Morpher. So I'm excited because originally I wasn't sure about what would be my first toy slash review of the Lightning Collection because I thought about maybe getting some of the figures, but I wasn't sure. And then I thought about maybe um, waiting a little bit, seeing like what would go on sale. And then I saw this, and I'm like, wow, that's something I should check out. So I have it. I'm going to be talking about it. So let's get right down to it. So the packaging is very nice. We've got the Power Rangers logo, the Morpher, the coins inside. Nice artwork of all the Rangers, which looks really awesome. We've got some pictures on the uh, top logo on the side you have warning labels on how it works and what to do and what not to do and the uh, the UPC now let's see what's inside so for starters here are the power coins very shiny and I'll show close-ups too at the end of the video and yes these are die cast so Hasbro went all out and made these uh, the highest of high quality. So there's the uh, pterodactyl. There's the triceratops. There's the saber tooth tiger. Rest in peace, Twee Trang. And the Tyrannosaurus. There's always a better way than fighting. And now for the main event, the Power Morpher itself. Now. Unlike the Legacy Diecast Morpher that Hasbro, that Bandai released, Hasbro decided to make this Morpher more like the OG Morpher from the TV show. It's not diecast, it's like made of a, it's not a cheap plastic, but it's like a very, uh, like somewhat hard, medium-ish kind of plastic. Like, I feel like if I would drop this, it wouldn't break. And the paint job is also very nice too. You got the Power Rangers uh, name on the uh, front, got the cool colors inside. And this is actually painted too, so this is not a sticker like the Diecast Morpher from Bandai. This is actually painted. And the back is uh, plain, nothing really special. And I think what Hasbro tried to go for with this Morpher is that they wanted to make it as different in comparison to Bandai's Morpher as possible. So um, we'll check out some of the sounds and got a nice paint job there too on the side. So let's see what this Morpher can do. And also, this requires three AAA batteries, which I bought and put in, so see just how well it works. Ooh, electric. I'll do that again so you can see um, the colors a little bit more. Yeah, it shows all the colors kind of like in a rotation, like when you push the button, it kind of like goes from blue, pink, black, red to yellow at the same time, so it's pretty cool. Now, as for the power coins, since they're, um, reminiscent of the OG Morpher from 1993, you have to put it in diagonally. So make sure you line it up like this, diagonally, and then turn. And now you can morph into the Red Power Ranger. Tyrannosaurus. And it actually has the voice clips voice because voice over is from the show so that's really uh really cool very nice and the noise and the lights here they go on for a while i think they just go on until like it goes in a standby or just they just go on until you close the morpher so power down Next one is Pterodactyl. That is so cool. And of course, Mastodon. Now there's also um, 
a secret sound you can unlock as well too. Hold the morpher down like this and hold this button. I've never tried this, so this is going to be uh, my first reaction to this hidden sound that we're about to hear. <laughs> wow! So much to do in one day. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, in comparison with Bandai's Legacy Morpher, both of them are awesome, but Hasbro's Morpher has no on and off switch, and even though it makes more sounds, it's not die cast. The coins are die cast, but not the Morpher itself. Bandai's Morpher is die cast. It plays Gogo -Go Power Rangers, it makes activation noise, it does a communicator sound effect, but in terms of having multiple sounds, that's all Hasbro, so. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite because this is more show accurate and this is more of like a, like a collector's prop in a way. So whichever morpher either looks the best or makes the most sounds, you can decide in case you want to get one of these morphers for like for play or for collector's sake or just to have both. But yeah, very awesome morpher and Hasbro, great job. And thanks for releasing this early so I could pick it up and review it. So <laughs> very good. I like it. And I just noticed Hasbro's Morpher is bigger than Bandai's Morpher. Not bad. So yep, that is my review. But before I go, it's been a while since I've answered questions, so I'm going to answer a few right here, right now. What do you think about Power Rangers Dino Fury? Well, according to the synopsis, it's going to be dinosaurs again. They don't acknowledge the night theme for some reason, even though the theme is dinosaurs and knights. So I'm thinking that it'll be just another, uh, it's going to be Hasbro's first hands-on Power Ranger season, 100%. But it looks like they might be considering rebooting the franchise, or it'll be the true finale where they um, commemorate Mighty Morphin all the way to Dino Fury, and maybe that'll be the uh, end of the live-action show, because I've heard rumors about how Hasbro might be um, parting ways with Toei, and um, they're going to be, well, they might make an animated show, being how the comics are so popular, so I predict Dino Fury will be probably okay, decent, it's too early to tell, but I think if they acknowledge the night theme and have it like a story based upon that and the dinosaurs, it'll be awesome. Are you excited for the new Power Rangers movie from Hasbro and Paramount? As long as they don't make the same mistakes Saban did and take time to build the franchise, I'll go see it. Because Saban, he made so many mistakes with the franchise, he pretty much just focused on the money, unfortunately. It wasn't really about growing the franchise and making the show better, it was about basically selling toys and whatnot, but Hasbro, if they want to succeed with Power Rangers, the first thing they need to do is learn from Saban's mistakes and go from there. So yeah, that's about it. Take care, be safe, and you rock. Nope, doesn't fit, but it was worth a try. It's morphin' time! <laughs>